Welcome to Hills of Glory, Mabalaka. Join us every Sunday, 7.30 and 10.45 in the morning and experience to be part of our growing family here at Hills of Glory, Mabalaka. Calling the attention of all the young people for our protege, producing an empowered generation every Thursday at 5.45 in the afternoon. Let us activate our faith and encounter God through prayer every Tuesday at 5.30 in the afternoon. Club Legacy Professionals, you are not forgotten. A monthly assembly awaits you. Dine and learn with us at Club Legacy. Welcome to the Upper Room. Let us worship God here every Monday, 8 o'clock in the evening.
Nothing hurts more than being rejected. Kaya nga kadalasan, we will go extremes just to avoid it. Dahil isa sa basic needs na kailangan masatisfy sa atin ay ang maramdaman natin na bilang tayo, whether sa isang pamilya, grupo, o sa isang community. Kaya naman may ilan na who are willing to abandon their conviction para lang matanggap sila ng mga taong nasa paligid nila. Mga kaibigan, katrabaho, o kaya naman mismong sariling pamilya. 
kahit paminsan, magdudulot ito na ikakapahamak nila. Ang rejection ay isa sa mga ginagamit ni Satan to make it harder for us to move to the next level in our lives. He will plant seeds of rejection against God's people so they will feel alone, unwanted, or unworthy. His greatest weapon is deception. Kaya naman yung idea na walang nagmamahal sa'yo, na walang may pakialam sa'yo, na walang nakakaunawa sa'yo, na nag-iisa ka ay isang malaking kasinungalingan. The truth is, may nagmamahal sa'yo, may nakakaunawa sa'yo, merong may pakialam sa'yo. Unang-una na dyan, walang iba kundi si God. If we really look hard, we will find God's handprints all over the places in our lives. Hindi lang natin siya napapansin minsan kasi masyado tayong nakafocus sa mga taong gusto nating i-please. Palagi siyang nandyan para sa atin, protecting us, carrying us through difficult situation. He was there for us when no one else was. Hindi nga siya nang hinayang na ibigay ang kanyang bugtong na anak, maipadama lamang niya sa atin kung gaano niya tayo kamahal. When Jesus came to earth, He was not received. Even His own people rejected Him. Sabi nga sa Isaiah chapter 53 verse 3, He was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. Like one from whom people hide their faces, He was despised, and we held Him in low esteem. Na-experience ni Jesus yung lahat ng form of rejection so that we could be delivered from it. Sa katunayan nga, he experienced the biggest form of rejection. Yun ay ang ma-reject siya ng mismong Diyos Ama. Nang si Jesus ay pinako sa krus at kanyang sinabi, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? It was that moment that he became sin. We know that God always rejects sin. That moment, he could not accept Jesus because of the sins of the world laid upon him. Pinagdaanan ni Jesus ang lahat ng paghihirap, pagdurusa at sakit nang sa gayon ay magkaroon tayo ng kalayaan mula rito. But what if even after knowing na nandiyan si Lord na nagmamahal sa atin, we still feel the pain of rejection? Tonight, we're going to talk about dealing with rejection. First, do not dwell on it. We have to accept the fact that in this life, people will ignore us reject us, take us for granted, do not so good things to us. But we don't have to dwell on it. If we dwell on it, magpo-frustrate lang tayo. Because matuto tayo na mag-focus doon sa lessons na matututunan natin mula rito. Pangalawa po, connect with the right people. Hindi ibig sabihin na hindi ka tinanggap ng mga taong nasa paligid mo ay may mali na agad sa'yo. Baka naman kasi maling tao lang ang mga nasamahan mo. People come and go. Kaya hindi rin nararapat na gawin natin silang source of security or else we will go back to feeling lonely again when they fail us. Ika nga, di bali nang ma-reject ka ng mga maling tao na dadalhin ka sa kapahamakan upang tanggapin ka ng mga tamang taong dadalhin ka sa kabutihan. And lastly po, find your acceptance in the Lord. The Lord will never reject you. His acceptance is what you need and what will complete you. Amen po? Sige po, let's pray. Panginoon, maraming salamat sa gabing ito. Salamat Lord sa mensahe na aming natanggap sa oras na ito. Thank you Lord for renewing our mind by the power of your word. Thank you Lord for reminding us of your great love for us. That you deeply care for us. That you will never leave us nor first ache us, O God, kahit anumang mangyari. And that also, Lord, that we can trust you. And tonight, Lord, dalangin din po namin that through your Holy Spirit, Lord God, I speak healing sa bawat isa, Lord, na nakakaranas, o nakaranas ng spirit of rejection. And that this root of rejection will not manifest, Lord, in the form of jealousy, anger, bitterness, or despair. Lord, right now, it is broken through the blood of Jesus. Maraming salamat, Lord. Muli, Panginoon, patuloy na ikaw maghari sa aming buhay. Patuloy na ikaw ang maitaas at maparangalan. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, Amen. Muli, magandang gabi po sa bawat isa and see you on the next upper room. God bless.